how much more I bet she hits the bush. Hi, people at Interwebs. Today, I'm going to teach my little sister how to drive a manual transmission. You ready? Hope so. <laughs> I squeak past this car that's worth more than my life real quick. And Celine is going to turn 20 here in a couple months. So she's had her license almost four years, but she's only ever driven an automatic. So you know your gas and your brake pedal, obviously. Today, we are going to introduce the clutch pedal. Explaining this to somebody that is not mechanically inclined is going to be a challenge, but I'm gonna do my best. Engine with four cylinders, a transmission, drive shaft, rear wheels. So when you press the green pedal, that is for the clutch. And what the clutch is going to do is inside this thing right here, basically what you want to do is separate the engine from the wheels so you can change gears. So like a bicycle, how you have different gears, when you need to change up or down to a gear, bicycles don't have clutches, but cars do. Mm -hmm. That didn't help. <laughs> bicycles are not cars. That's the shifter. The engine is your legs. By pressing the clutch pedal is you're basically inside this bell housing area. This is spinning. And by pressing that pedal, you're separating those two discs like this. Okay. The flywheel, the engine's up here, okay. a clutch. Okay. Think of your foot. Okay. Your foot is doing this right. with these two things. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That quite possibly may have been the worst explanation of what a clutch and flywheel and transmission do. I tried. This is what her learning instrument is going to be. A 1993 Ford Ranger base model. 2.3 liter, four cylinder with a five speed manual. She's already been driving for four years now, so it's not like she's new to driving in general. She knows the rules of the road and has a license, so please save that comment. <laughs> I'm sure someone's gonna be like, she needs to take driver's ed. I'm going to let out the clutch. I'm just gonna use the gas pedal solely to keep the engine running as I am letting off the clutch so it doesn't die out. There's no tachometer in this Ranger. You don't want to give it too much gas because if you just keep revving it and then let out the clutch, you're going to do a fat burnout. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and if you don't give enough gas, obviously the engine's just going to die out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take off. So give a little bit of gas. Just keep the engine running. Now my foot's off the clutch. Now to change gears, like I said, that string theory. Like that, okay? The string theory I told her is if you imagine a post in the ground in front of us and the clutch and the gas pedal being linked together with a string. So kind of, kind of not really, but if you're gonna be pushing in the, the clutch pedal, you're gonna be letting off the gas. If you're gonna be pushing in the gas pedal, you'll be letting off the clutch. And just think about that string going out around a post between the two of them. Now to change gears, like I said, that string theory, that okay say you get going and you're like I forgot what to do you, you're panicking just remember clutch in it's a normal vehicle you know how to drive use your brake to come to a stop my thought process on teaching people to drive a manual is for the person teaching to shut the f up so I've already given her a lesson on what to do you know, you know enough now, I can shut up, right? And you, you got it? We'll find out. <laughs> okay, if you don't do something right, just remember, what do you do in the event of, oh no, I forgot what I'm doing? I just clutch and break it. Clutch and break. Okay, so I'm not gonna say anything. You know what to do, you can figure it out. That's the best way to teach someone to drive a manual is to let them be calm and realize they have a brain, <laughs> so. I feel like this is gonna be bad. It won't be bad, don't stress out. Oh, shit. 
Okay, so what were you trying to do? <laughs> you tried putting it in gear. Yeah. But you didn't press the clutch pedal. Oh, you have to hold it and press it. Yes. Yeah. You can turn off your blink blinker. <laughs> I did it again. Just feel it. Just feel it in your foot. There you go. You're going. <laughs> you did it. She basically already has the concept down. She was able to take off and not stall on the third attempt. So that's good, but I can see her area that she's struggling is once the vehicle's moving, she's panicking and doing everything quick with her leg and her hand. So we're gonna do it in the dirt real quick, just so she gets into the motion of doing everything slow. Yeah. So if you get past that bush in the road in the center right over there, yeah. just press the brake. I don't care if you forget anything else, <laughs> just make the vehicle stop. So obviously, you know, what do you do to make it stop? Clutch and brake. Okay, but if you forget the clutch, just don't let the vehicle go past that point. Break it, I don't care if it stalls, just whatever. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go stand over here. That way I can't even talk to her. I just want her to be super stress-free. That's the most important part, so she can concentrate. Yeah, she's doing it. No, she stalled! <laughs> I'm gonna look the other way so she doesn't get nervous. There you go. There you go! Yeah, you got it! What'd you do? You clutched and braked, right? You clutched and braked. You forgot a little bit though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I think this is the best way to do it. Just let her get used to that motion of taking off without me around. And then we'll apply it on the road. Look at that purple tailgate. She's doing it. <laughs> hey, your first burnout. See if she's gonna hit the bush. How much do I bet she hits the bush? <laughs> she hit the bush. <laughs> All right, so now you know you gotta go forwards, right? Yeah. I guess better her backing into a bush than another car, so. I told her just to focus on feeling the truck stall out. I want her to get used to that feeling. Let's see if she figures it out on her own before I tell her what to do. There you go. See, I didn't even have to tell her. She got it. Hell yeah. Now she remembers, clutch and brake. Clutch and brake, come on, you can do it. Clutch and brake. Hell yeah, you did it! You're doing it good now. So, all right, little tip of what you're doing wrong. Okay. Um, when you stalled it back there, just give it tiny little bits more gas. Okay. Like I said, slow that left foot nice and slow. And then, uh, yeah, when you come to the bush so you don't back into it again, clutch, brake. <laughs> All I gotta do, clutch, brake, and you're good. I told her to go until she gets a perfect two more times. So, so that way she remembers clutch and brake and she doesn't stall. On, you got this. Oh, she stalled. There you go, there you go. Yeah. So she remembers clutch and brake. Clutch and brake. Clutch and brake. What'd you forget? All right, at least you know what you forgot. You're good. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, she did it. Clutch and brake. Clutch and brake. Come on, clutch and brake. Clutch and brake. Yes! She remembered! That's two successful attempts. Oh, she's going again. She did it, she did it again. She did it again, oh my God. As long as she remembers clutch and brake to stop, she's good. Come on, come on, don't forget. You did it! You did it twice! I have a question, am I gonna drive home? <laughs> if you want to, it's totally up to you. 
Okay. I mean, I, I don't want you to do anything until you are like super comfortable. Okay. 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 What do you do if a car comes? Blinker, clutch and brake. Yeah. I am not gonna say anything. I'm going to let you do it, all right? Okay. And, and you're doing the same thing again? Yeah, if you fail, if you do anything that would obviously endanger our safety, I will I will intervene. You did it. You did it. You nailed it. You got it. Second gear. String theory. There you go. You got it. Third gear. String theory. Can't find them, grind them. You're doing it. You're driving. I would say that's a pretty damn good job <laughs> considering you've now been in this truck for about an hour. I'll teach you how to downshift later. For now, let's just get the basics down. Okay. So if you guys are watching right now and you're trying to teach someone, the secret to it is... Having don't, a good teacher. Yeah, don't <laughs> scream at them. Know that they have a brain. If they have a driver's license, they know how to drive already. Just be patient with them. And I think honestly, like the dirt lot thing, getting her in the dirt lot in the vehicle by herself and getting out of the vehicle so I can't even talk to her, it put her in the element where she either sinks or swim. And what, what can go wrong if there's a dirt? Like what's she gonna do, hit a bush in a $900 truck? And just like that, it's the next day. So you're probably wondering why we didn't use the MR2 to learn on. I don't think I need to answer that question. So moving on, the $900 Ford Ranger. I actually borrowed that truck from Charlie, so thank you Charlie for letting us use it. He bought that as a flip and he fixed all the stuff that was wrong with it. He might actually repaint it silver again and then sell it. But he also has a 302 with GT40 heads and a turbo kit with a five speed manual in his storage unit that came out of a Fox body. That would fit in a Ranger. Just saying, I thought about just taking that project on on my channel possibly and doing it because he doesn't have time to. What are your guys' thoughts on something like that? Would you be interested? Either way, I don't think I'm gonna have much content on the MR2 coming up for you guys anytime soon because I just did that three years of work time-lapse video and it kind of bombed. So I'm kind of sad because it took like 30 hours to make that video and I love Mr. Dose. So it was sad no one wanted to watch it. So for now, I'm just gonna focus on the focus. Focus and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with another. Bye.